Hey guys, this is Jesus Loving Buddy. I'm with my friend Keith here, who is a pastor. And today we're going to discuss how the prophecy, or excuse me, the covenant with uh, Abraham uh, foreshadowed the coming of Christ and how he would die and atone for all of our sins. So, uh, Keith, uh, tell us somewhat about who you are and where you got your degree and how long you've been a pastor and stuff. Well, I've been pastoring here for about 11 years and I got my degree from Southwestern and uh, became very interested in the covenants back probably 22, 23 years ago mm -hmm. and uh, made me to understand some things a little bit better about the scriptures. And so what we were going to talk about a little bit is from Genesis 15, we see how that God confirmed an a, a covenant with Abraham in which he had Abraham split some animals in half. Mm -hmm. and, they, and so there's two halves laying on both sides. And then, of course, the Bible tells us that uh, in the nighttime that God came down as a, as a torch, basically, and that this fire passed between the, the, the animals that were sliced open. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, for a long time I read that and I didn't understand. Yeah. And then I had the opportunity to learn about covenants. And the, the whole concept of the covenant that was being made was the fact that they did this to an animal. They split this animal in half, and they both of them would take turns walking between the animal or animals. And uh, when they would, they would recite to each other their faithfulness. Right. And so they would look at the animal, and they would say, you know, if you ever need me and I do not come to you, may I be like this. Hmm. And uh, if your enemies attack you, and I do not come to rescue you. May I be like this? And so the covenant was serious because they're looking at this dead carcass here. And they're saying, you know, this is going to be me if I don't hold up my end of the covenant. But when God made a covenant with Abraham like that, only God passed between the animals. He didn't ask mm -hmm. Abraham to do it. Because after all, if God's got an enemy, what can Abraham do about it? Jack fly. That's right. Yeah. He can't. He can't <laughs> rescue God. So, God did the whole covenant. However, the basis of the covenant is that I would do for you what you would do for me. Mm -hmm. So, we know why God did this. By going seven chapters later, 22 of Genesis, where we see when God says to Abraham, I mean, you, you read the story, it's pretty amazing. God right. just tells him, he says, hey, Tomorrow, I want you to go up on the mountain and sacrifice your son. Mm -hmm. And Abraham just gets up like it's no big deal. And he goes up there. It's a great story. We don't have time. But the thing about the story is, is the fact, why would he even ask Abraham to offer up Isaac? Mm. Well, in the covenant, one's got to be willing to do what the other one would be willing to do. Right. Now, Abraham could not defend God against his enemies. Abraham could not come and, and provide for him if he was having a bad day. Mm -hmm. But Abraham could be willing to give up his son if, if he needed to mm -hmm. for God. That set the stage. And we know, are confident, that it all put into motion what God was, was then wanting to do all along. And that is, give his son, because he found a man in faithfulness who said, I will give my son, if that's what God requires. Mm -hmm. And so now, we require a sin offering. Jesus Christ was the only one that could do it, and God was able, to, and, and with free desire to, because of the covenant, do that. And a lot of people say, now where do you get this stuff about the covenants? Well, you have to study the times. Mm -hmm. But Jeremiah gives hint to this very thing, okay? Mm -hmm. In the 34th chapter of Jeremiah, he he refers to a covenant that Israel made with God and how they had broken it. And he said, you're going to be just like those carcasses that you walked between. Mm. And so we know that these covenants were during this time frame and that this is the essence of what God and Abraham were doing and how and why he made such a, a wild request of Abraham. That's 
That's awesome. That's awesome. So, the covenant God made with Abraham foreshadows Christ in a way that just, from, from like Christ is somewhat foreshadowed from the very beginning, basically the deal. All the way through, the sacrifice of, of Jesus was God's plan. Yeah. But all the way through, he was keeping man involved. And, and he did that by covenant. And uh, this covenant, to me, you know, some of the covenants really affect Israel. But this mm -hmm. covenant here affected every person that would ever live yeah. because of Christ Jesus. So that's that's pretty amazing. And I'm, I'm big with uh, foreshadowing and things like that and, and Paul, as far as apologetics and just kind of like just, you know, Look at the scriptures. Check it out. You know, there's a divine plan here. It's not. It's not absolutely a bunch of stuff made up by man. It's divinely orchestrated. And that's incredible. So, rock very much so. So, thank you very much, Keith, for right. coming on my YouTube channel and everything. God bless you, and uh, good luck with your church and with your ministry and all that jazz. So, thank you. Have a good day. Wait about five.